Why Do You Young Creatives is a national programme for young people who want to develop their choreographic skills. We selected 15 young people to choreograph new works with a mentor over the course of about three or four months. I applied for Young Creatives mainly to get more experience in other elements of dance. I've done choreography for A-levels and now that I'm finished that I kind of thought well you know how else could I go about like creating new works. We invited everyone to come to the Royal Opera House back in November to take part in some tasks relating to choreography. We um, were asked to choreograph two tasks, so the first one being um, with my dancers. In a separate choreographic session we had to work with dancers that we never met before. So I found that really challenging because you don't know how they move their bodies so you have to kind of adapt like because their style might not necessarily be suited to what you want them to do. Our partnership with YDE for the Young Creatives has fully developed over the years. The dancers and choreographers from the Royal Opera House have been involved in the selection process, in mentoring. We've also been able to provide spaces for the selection days and for the performances to happen, which is really fantastic experience for the young people to work in a professional theatre. Wayne McGregor, our resident choreographer, his involvement as well in the Young Creatives programme and being able to share his experience with the dancers just ties everything together really nicely. I think what I try to do with dancers is make sure that they feel part of or contribute to the process of making the language, the material, and for them to know that they did it. How did you decide to become a choreographer? I was being taught movement all the time, so I just felt like I feel more free where I get to do movement for myself. The Royal Ballet School forms the host for the residential. Young people come here to work on their pieces and also learn some new choreographic techniques and skills with the staff here at the Royal Ballet School. Part of the Royal Ballet School's work, as well as training the next generation of professional dancers, is to ensure that more young people have access to dance and to ballet and to the work of the Royal Ballet School and this is a wonderful opportunity to bring young people into these um, lovely surroundings. Well, we had the ballet class this morning, first time I've ever done ballet, but I felt pushed, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. We get a chance to do creative stuff in the afternoons, which kind of, it lets the dancers do a bit more choreography as well, which is quite nice, because instead of being told what to do, you can kind of step back and say, you know, I've made this, what do you think? We work today within the boundaries of an improvisation task on the idea of surprise and change and not doing what they normally do and forcing that upon them. My piece is about restriction within the dancers and how they move. So I set them multiple tasks such as having to create a solo, thinking about you can't use obvious limbs, you can't use your arms or legs. I took the idea of whether we look at dance to learn and appreciate or we look at dance to criticise. And I kind of played on that and then just kind of broke the audience and danced the boundary. My mentor helped me to analyse every single movement and just find the intention in every movement. And if there was a movement that didn't have that same level of intention, chop it out and bring in one that had meaning to it. I've realised how important it is to have a third eye because over the first few like months I was just doing it on my own and it was really difficult for me to see kind of the big mistakes and Katie Green was my mentor and she came in she looked at the piece, wrote down a load of notes and when we came to start talking about it she answered every single one of my questions without me even having to ask them. I would pick up on it instead of like, why did you do that? I, I don't know why I did that. Well, what has it really got to do with what you're trying to Forward. I took my own experience of being a choreographer who has been mentored in the past and really great mentors have never directed my work. They just questioned me about the reasons behind my choices and they've made me come up with the solutions. One of the key aims of Youth Dance England is to raise standards for young people's dance and we see developing them as choreographers as one of the key ways of doing that. I've learned a lot through this short process. I've sort of learned that um, there's so much I didn't really know about choreography. There's so much that it involves and it's helped me in every aspect of dance. It's the best dance experience I've ever had. This experience has just kind of told me, yeah, I've got to come back and be a choreographer. <laughs> We've learned so much already just like by being here and how to act professionally. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to the performance, even though I'm a bit scared.